Microsoft unveils more AI features at its developers conference today. Google CEO Sundar Pichai is out with another warning, writing in the Financial Times that building AI responsibly is the only race that really matters. And in terms of those building AI, B of A today is singling out AMD as a market share winner. That stock already up nearly 70 percent year to date and hitting a 52 week high today. Bank of America sees another 11 percent upside from here. The analyst behind that note, Vivek Arya, joins me now. Vivek, welcome. It's good to see you. Thanks, Kelly. Likewise. You know, I don't mean for this to sound the way it's going to sound, but what's 11 percent after a 70 percent run, you know? Uh, sure, Kelly. So first, I think let's start with the good news, uh, which is that we are in very early stages of outfitting cloud data centers with the picks and shovels that are required uh, to handle these large language models. I think we are just in the first one or two years of what could be a decade a transformation of these uh, data centers. And the core part of that will be accelerators, we think that market is just under 20 billion this year, and that can get to 60 to 80 billion dollars over the next uh, four to five years. So that's the good news. Now, the tricky part is that the uh, the silicon required for those accelerators, that market is dominated by NVIDIA, 70, 75 percent market share, mm -hmm. uh, followed by Broadcom, which is actually the least spoken about name in AI, but we think one of the more interesting ones with another 10, 15 percent share. So that just leaves the remaining 10, 15 percent of the market in this very long tail that is Intel, AMD, Marvell, a dozen plus startups. So part of the note was acknowledging that, yes, AMD has uh, the potential to go after this very large market uh, and raising the price target to reflect that. But we have a neutral rating on AMD, which acknowledges the second part, that it'll be tricky for AMD to carve a niche when you have these two really large incumbents, NVIDIA and Broadcom, in that market. That's really interesting, especially to put NVIDIA and Broadcom in the same breath when one commands a much higher multiple than the other. Um, uh, Broadcom, you are a buy. Price target 800 on this Apple deal news? Yeah, I think what this Apple deal news has done is it has removed one overhang uh, from Broadcom stock. Early this year, uh, there were some media reports that Apple could look to insource uh, some of these uh, specific uh, components. Uh, Apple is Broadcom's largest customer, 20 percent of sales uh, last year. So any so insourcing attempt by Apple could have been a problem for Broadcom. But I think what this uh, deal does is it removes that overhang for the next few years. And as I mentioned before, this will help investors focus on what really matters in terms of Broadcom's growth over the next few years and one of the most underappreciated parts of Broadcom, which is its presence in AI. So Broadcom today is number one in the cloud switches hmm. that are complementary to what NVIDIA does when it comes to uh, the outfitting of these AI data centers. And then Broadcom is number two after NVIDIA when it comes to helping uh, some of these uh, cloud uh, customers, especially Google, uh, Meta, uh, develop in-house custom chips uh, that can address a lot of their uh, AI uh, needs. So I think the good news here is it removes the overhang from Broadcom stock, which was related to the risk of Apple and sourcing, and lets investors focus on what's really important for Broadcom, which is its potential as an underappreciated AI uh, beneficiary. Sure, although the way the stock's behaving lately, it's, it is becoming more appreciated. For, but on the valuation, all that, I, I totally take your point. 16 times forward PE yeah. multiple. For a company that is generating 50% free cash flow uh, margins and has raised its dividends at a 25% compounded rate the last few years. Why not we give think it? The valuation a... is extremely compelling. So, why shouldn't the market give it a 70 times forward multiple or whatever it's giving NVIDIA right now? Yeah, I think uh, because it's a lot more diversified. Uh, so, AI is only 15, 20% of uh, what they do, Apple is another 20%. And I think one reason for the overhang of the stock was this Apple insourcing. But now that risk is out of the way, I think it does help investors refocus. Yeah. Look, it's a lot more diversified uh, name. There's a lot of software aspects which are lower growth uh, for uh, Broadcom. But I think so. It's it's I would classify it more as a large cap value uh, stock with this underappreciated uh, growth driver, whereas Nvidia is more of a large cap uh, growth stock. It, we have to go. Uh, just a, a word about Intel. I mean, anything there that you uh, are excited about, or is that story just a, a difficult one? Yeah, I think Intel, we remain uh, cautious. Of course, they are also exposed to the same large uh, rising tide. But what we have seen, Kelly, time and time again, is that semiconductors is a game of incumbency. You Market shares only change when the incumbent messes up. Intel messed up many years ago, which helped AMD gain share in CPUs. Mm -hmm. But now when you look at this new market of AI, NVIDIA is not messing up. Broadcom is not messing up. And I think that just makes it very difficult for other players to gain a foothold.